welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today. We're walking chapter by chapter through the Old Testament book of Proverbs. Today we're in chapter 9, Proverbs chapter 9. And we here see in Proverbs 9 one of the characteristics of this kind of literature we call Psalms and Proverbs and Song of Songs, we call it wisdom literature. And in wisdom literature, you often have two characters that are pitted against one another. We saw that a couple of chapters ago with the ant and the sluggard. Well, here in Proverbs chapter 9, we're going to see wisdom herself. She's often personified as a woman in, in Proverbs. Wisdom herself is going to be set against folly. Folly is also characterized as a woman here. And they are polar opposites, however, in their worldview because wisdom chooses to live life God's way and folly chooses the human way uh, with no respect for God's way, with no fear of God at all. And so here you see these two women in Proverbs chapter 9. They, they both are speaking to us. They both have a message they're going to give us. They both own houses and they both are speaking from a high point in the village or the town so that everybody around can listen. It starts with wisdom in verse 1. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up its seven pillars. And she has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. And she has sent out her servants. And she calls from the highest point of the city, let all who are simple come to my house. Let all who are simple come to my house. Now, simple here doesn't mean uncomplicated. Simple means stupid. Sometimes we use in English the word simpleton. They're somebody who just, who just isn't very wise. They're foolish. Then in verse 13, that's uh, what we just read is the first part of this chapter. Now the end of the chapter, verse 13. Folly is an unruly woman. And she is simple and knows nothing. And she sits at the door of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. And what does she call out? Let all who are simple come to my house. She calls out exactly the same thing that wisdom calls out. They're both inviting people to their house, they're at the high point of their city and they are calling out and both of them identically say, let all who are simple come to my house. Without God, we're probably, we, we only see a very, very small point of life. You could call us simple. And, and uh, we, we all are in need of hearing the voice of wisdom calling us to her house. Yet we also all hear the voice of foolishness calling us to her house. Foolishness's house is the way of sinfulness. It's the way of, of, of immorality. It's the way of, of, of mindlessness, of making stupid decisions, self-destructive decisions. I mean, sometimes, you know, we amaze ourselves. How, how can we make decisions that end up hurting us so badly in the end? Well, that's the foolishness. That's why we need the wisdom of God. So the wise woman's calling people to her house, saying, let all who are simple come. The foolish woman is calling people to her house, saying, let all who are simple come. And right between those two scenarios is verse 10, which is probably the theme verse of the entire book of Proverbs, where it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So this is going to be the tipping point between wisdom and foolishness in life. Are you going to live by the fear of the Lord? Which is not just being terrified about God and I won't even want to come close to him because I'm just terrified of him. The fear of the Lord is saying he has a way for us to live. And he sent his son Jesus to die so we could have the freedom and power to live that way. And, and the fear of the Lord said, I would tremble at the thought of living any other way. But when we lose the fear of God in our lives, we get careless with sin. We get careless with God's way. We just think, my way is the best. God just kind of, I'm going to shut you out for a while because I want what I want. That's the way of foolishness. And foolishness is always calling us 
to her house, while wisdom, while the Spirit of God's calling us to the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. We hear two voices. I'm going to pray in these next couple of moments for us as those voices may be very much alive, both voices in your life right now. Paul in the New Testament characterized it as the voice of the Spirit and the voice of the flesh and says they're at war with one another. The voice of the flesh calling us to the way of sinfulness and foolishness and the voice of the Spirit calling us to wisdom's home, to the fear of the Lord. So Lord, here we are. We pray you help our hearts. Lord, every one of us every day uh, we, we hear the voices of both of these women and we pray that the voice that calls us to you, the fear of God, the voice that calls us, calls us to your way rather than our way will be the voice that prevails today in our lives. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from sin. Thank you for the spirit of God that convicts us and urges us to live right. And we pray that you will fill our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen.